criticism of the IRS and the way the agency is handling an investigation into targeting certain groups last year. The IRS has apologized, but as national correspondent Christine Frizzell reports tonight, there are still plenty of questions. It's been eight months, but the case is still not closed. Now, two lawmakers are criticizing the investigation into the IRS targeting scandal. Congressman Darrell Issa and Jim Jordan, both Republicans, have submitted a letter to the Department of Justice asking for the person heading the investigation to be removed, calling her appointment inappropriate. According to the Federal Election Commission, Barbara Bosserman donated nearly $7,000 to Democratic groups, the majority to President Obama's 2008 and 2012 presidential campaigns. Former U.S. Ambassador C. Boyd and Gray says this is being swept under the rug. I think that's pretty bad. I, I, I don't think that the media would let uh, any Republican president get by with putting a campaign supporter in charge of, a, of an investigation like this. But this is Washington after all, and the vast majority of people who work here are going to belong to one of the two major political parties. Discriminating against someone because they supported one candidate or another in the past could have its own legal ramifications. In a statement, a Department of Justice spokesperson said it's prohibited under federal law to consider the political affiliation of employees in making personnel decisions. And Sunlight Foundation consultant Lisa Rosenberg says the IRS was already investigated at length by Congress and that party affiliation of the person in charge of this one shouldn't be of concern. I don't think there is a concern that the fox is guarding the hen house. I think actually the IRS is really recognizing, actually long overdue, that it needs to rewrite its rules. Rules that for now remain the subject of the next great debate, how social welfare groups should operate in the future.